Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all super well today. In this video, we are gonna to talk about my designer sneaker collection. I will be talking about sizing, fit, review them, rate them. So if you're interested, please keep watching. I have been collecting sneakers for the past three years. I think exactly in March, three years ago, I had an ankle injury where I tore three of my ligaments. And since then, yeah, I had to wear flat shoes or sneakers because wearing high heels was very painful. My foot also never got back to the same shape and therefore I had to forgo lots of my designer high heels, which I loved so much, but I could never fit in them again. Anyhow, I still think that female legs looks the best in high heels. I love high heels. I'm a high heel girl and I always been high heel girl. I think I will be wearing uh, sneakers more maybe in a few years time. So you will see some of them are brand new. They've never been worn, but I still want to have them in my collection because I'm trying to create a sneaker collection that would be colorful so I can match them with my wardrobe. As you know, my wardrobe is far colorful, so I need to have sneakers in every single color. Sneakers presented in this video will be in no particular order. I will try to link all of them in the comments below so you can check them out. If I don't find the exact sneakers, because some are obviously older, I will try to find similar styles uh, so you can buy them if you want. Just for a side note, every single person has a different fee, so take the information provided here as such, because what is comfortable for me not necessarily has to be comfortable for you, but you know, in my age, especially last three years, I'm really going for shoes that are very, very comfortable. Let's start now with nothing else than Louis Vuitton timeout sneakers. Since I crave about them in every single video, we have to start with them. My first ever Louis Vuitton sneakers were these lovely uh, Tana sneakers in this beautiful pink color. They are full leather. Uh, obviously the stitching uh, Louis Vuitton is with uh, threads and at the back this is a patent leather so you can't avoid it but it will crease and Louis Vuitton flowers are at the platform. The platform is rubber. The sneakers are in my size 38. I'm normal regular size 37 and a half. However, I'm tending or buying sneakers and flat shoes in 38. So through the size, I do have sneakers in 37 and a half. So I would say it's size of half size. You know, when they came out, it was a few years back, they were sold out very quickly. They came even with a blue writing and I really loved both colors and I wanted them. But when I came to the store, all of them were sold out. But at the time, lovely manager, shout out to you because uh, she became my friend and I love her to bits. She sold these for me and I couldn't be happier. Yes, because it is in my favorite pink color and therefore I'm trying not to wear them very often because I really, really love them. Two more timeout sneakers that I want to show you are these ones and I purchased them not too long ago, maybe a year and a half or something like that. can't remember exactly, but as you can see, these were never worn, but... I will definitely wear them. I purchased them because the color match exactly my Chanel 19 bag, the blue. It's exactly the same color, so I thought it would be a great match when I decide to wear sneakers. And these are such a easy color to match because it's like very simple beige and they really match perfectly to my Louis Vuitton multi pochette, especially with the green at the back because the strap is green. The only difference between actually these and these is that, as you can see, these have these Louis Vuitton plug in leather. They are both canvas and the platform is rubber, both in size 38. And um, I would say the canvas, guys, is for the time being, I did not have any issues. It was easier to maintain than the leather because you can just wipe the surface when something drops on it or whatever. Obviously you can clean the rubber, 
when you want to. <laughs> it's a little bit dirty now, but uh, look clean, it looks really beautiful. <laughs> Guys, I love the canvas. I'm not sure like if you have any like tear, how you repair it, but obviously the shoe repairer would know what to do with them. I've never had an issue. I love them. I would purchase more of them. And if you watch my Louis Vuitton new collection video, you would know that I purchased another time out sneakers because what else? I love them so much. So the platform of this is approximately four centimeters and that's what I really love about sneakers. High platform, guys, it's so comfortable, especially when you have any issues with any of the, your joints, it's much nicer to walk long distances with high platform. Now, uh, the weight is okay. The leather and uh, canvas guys, well, I would say maybe for some reason the canvas is a little bit heavier, just a touch. If you watch my other video from Europe trip last year, I purchased these since 1854, Stella sneakers and they are in this uh, beautiful Bordeaux color. It's calf skin with a textile combination uh, And well, here we go textile. I told you what I think of it um, Not big fan, but I really loved this print and I even purchased the same print in black color the boots from Louis Vuitton I haven't worn them yet, but I'm waiting for winter. I love the look however these as you can see are lower platform this is rubber as well this uh, platform is only three centimeters for me and my liking it's low but i will definitely give it a go obviously i purchased it because i love the color and it perfectly match my boutique gavanetta shoulder pouch that is the same bordeaux color and i think they will be really fun to wear Look, it's got even LV here, and as you can see, they haven't been worn, but I really love to have them in my collection. The only funny thing is that, and I'm not sure if it's because of the platform, that this is lower, but the, these sneakers are in 37 and a half, so definitely take your regular size in these. We will get to a brand that I have purchased not long ago and um, I think it's number one. The Hermes Sneakers Voltage, if I pronounce it correctly. Guys, it's um, such a sleek, elegant look. Love everything about them. Okay, it's leather, just the stitching is um, orange color. As you can see, the platform is super high because this is the highest platform, it's 4.5 centimeters. Love the orange color inside, perfectly match my back. And the only downsize is they're quite heavy, but they are full leather, so only the platform is rubber. I love the minimalistic logo, as you can see, Hermes. I mean, when you wear these sneakers, whoever does not know the brand, they would have no idea that you are wearing Hermes sneakers because that's a simple H. The Hermes sneakers, I had to go with my regular size 37 and a half and it fit perfectly. So this is my regular size. Love this look, it can be dressed down, it can be dressed up and if you compare even the pricing between the Hermes Voltage and Louis Vuitton Time Out sneakers guys, very similar price, also Chanel, they are all at the same level I would say, you know $50 up and down. If you guys have an option to buy only one sneaker and you can't buy any other sneakers, Definitely, I would go for Hermes. The reason why is that they are very slick, very elegant. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. They are full leather and such an easy style to match. They have different colors. I will be definitely adding more to my collection. As you can see, I haven't worn them out yet, but I wore them for a few hours inside the house and love them to bits. Louis Vuitton sneakers 
and I know that I'm craving about them are more fun. They've got different colors. Um, you can sort of bring a little bit youth into the outfit and more fun, I would say. These are more like serious. So if you like more conservative outfits, definitely go for this. If you like outfits more out there and more fun, definitely go with Time Up sneakers because you will find that they've got such a big range and every single season they come out with a different fun looking sneakers. And if I would choose one sneakers from my whole collection to have, it would be these sneakers and I would take them in full white color. And I think the backing was like a pinky color or something like that, like a dust pink. So I would be choosing sort of those sneakers. The next brand I would talk about is Prada. Now, Prada's guys, you saw me unboxing these sneakers, full white, and I really wanted a full white sneakers for summer, especially like a lower one that I can mix and match with the dresses. And I thought the nylon, such a famous nylon for Prada, would be a great choice for summer. As you can see, the platform is rubber, and again, it is the same height as Hermes, it's four and a half centimeters. Would I recommend it, guys? Yes, again, nylon, harder to maintain than canvas or leather. Anyhow, I haven't reached too often for them, as you can see from the platform. I don't know why, uh, I mean, I know, I always choose high heels uh, before sneakers, but they are not as comfortable as I thought, okay? Let's face it. So, do I like to suffer? Not really, but I still love them. I will definitely wear them. Uh, the sizing in these is 38. Maybe they are not made for my feet because 37 and a half was too small, 38 and a half was too big. So I had to take 38. And the fit is not perfect, I would say. So maybe that's why I'm not as comfortable as the other sneakers. Another Prada sneakers, and again, you could have seen me unboxing these on my channel, uh, are these Prada sneakers. I thought it would be a replacement for my Balenciaga Triple S, which I had previously, a while ago. I purchased them, they were just too heavy after first wear. I just sold them, I couldn't deal with the heaviness of the sneakers. This was a good second option because they are very light. For the sneakers guys, they are lighter like any other sneakers. Uh, it's incredible, I think because it's combination of material and I don't know, rubber, whatever it is. Uh, it's just not my style. I'm sorry. I never wore them. I thought I would love them. This is a miss from my last year purchases. Uh, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I really thought uh, there would be a great fit with my Prada nylon red edition bag, which was this perfect match for the bag in pinky color. However, it's just not my style. Guys, I love them. I love them if I see it on other people. I will just never wear them because, as I said, I do not wear sneakers very often and this is definitely not my style. I just don't know what I was thinking. It just proves you to think before you buy. Just to let you know, the sizing runs true to size. These are in size 37 and a half. And would I recommend them? Definitely I would. Again, I love them, guys. Look the minimalistic logo. Even the... Prada here is so minimalistic, you really don't see the logo, it's not in your face. Love the look, love the style, it's just not for me, unfortunately. But they are very comfortable. I walked them in the house just to test them and they are very comfortable. We are getting to Chanel. In my last video I unboxed this pair of sneakers, guys. As you can see, I haven't worn them yet. Chanel sneakers and shoes altogether run in funny sizes. So these are in size 38 and a half and all sneakers from Chanel are in 38 and a half. I purchased maybe 
Another like three, four pair of sneakers from Chanel. I sold them every single time I purchased them. Why? Uh, I was not a sneaker person, first of all. I always wanted to love sneakers. I always wanted to wear sneakers, never did. So I sold them now because I have to wear sneakers sometimes. I kept these, I kept the other one that I've got which are these, uh, the funky neon color, which I love because I finally, as you can see from the bottom, finally bought these and they are super, super comfortable. Highly recommended sneakers, guys. These sneakers match perfectly to my Coco Handle Extra Mini, so I love it. They are full leather, as you can see, only this is like from material. Obviously, the outer sole is from rubber and the platform is two and a half centimeter high. So that's the only negative of Chanel sneakers that they are only two and a half centimeter height. I prefer higher platforms. The Chanel also uh, make a lot of sneakers with like combination material and leather, which I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, they are perfect sneakers for young people. I think they are very sporty. I am not that sporty person, so it does not fit with my style. But after wearing these, like months ago, I so love them. So when these came out, I had to have them. They are from the current collection. If you want to get them, get in touch with your essays because they were straight away sold out everywhere. Uh, both are in 38 and a half, as I said guys love love would highly recommend would i place them in number one not really as i said number one for me is Hermes because of the slick style and because you can mix and match uh, number two would be the louis vuitton obviously still lover of the sneakers and maybe because they have a higher platform but these are not too far behind louis vuitton because only of the platform that it's lower but if you like lower platform Definitely sneakers to consider. I think they are super, super comfortable and they come with a different color combo. You know, I saw black, I saw so many colors now. So you get your color combo, you have to just wait. Don't settle for something that you do not like because every season they come up with different colors. And as you can see, you know, this sneaker has a Chanel written on each sneaker, whereas here is Chanel separated, which I quite like, you know, I don't mind it. We get to a brand that I started my whole designer sneaker collection and that's Valentino. Uh, I mean, I do not wear them any longer, but I still have them in my collection. And as you can see, I picked up the full leather with like gold stripe and uh, the platform is rubber, three centimeter high, so great height. I mean, the sneakers, look, I haven't worn them that often, but I'm a little bit over Valentino sneakers because you can see them everywhere. Always sort of the similar style with the stripe. So I bought obviously these and these, wore them on my holidays, love them, but guys, would I recommend? Yes, definitely. They're very comfortable. I've got nothing wrong to say about these sneakers. All my Valentino sneakers are in 38. If you have Valentino Rockstar, I had only the kitten high heels and they were always size 38. So just for the comparison. Guys, love them. I'm just, yeah, I don't know, a little bit over it. Uh, if I see it on the street, I still love them, right? But would I buy it? No. One more Valentino style, and this is the style, guys, that I don't go for, so I'm not sure what I was thinking, but obviously it was my favorite combo. I really love camouflage uh, print, and plus the pink, I think that's why I went for. Love it, never worn it, as you can see, very, very sporty for my style, so never got to wear them, never reach for these sneakers, but will i love it when i see it on somebody else definitely i would otherwise i wouldn't purchase them previously but it's just not my style sometimes it's not good just to purchase stuff because you like it right you can enjoy 
it on other people. The last but not the least are my sneakers that I use for sport. I am not reaching for any of my leather sneakers for sport. I love very light sneakers and this is the brand that I go for. It's a German brand called Mark Kane. I've got these in like a lot of different colors because I want to match uh, every single outfit uh, that I go in to the gym. So love, love this brand. I wear them very often at least once a week because i've got a few colors so i obviously change the outfits every day but guys these are such a light sneakers they you don't even know that you wear them they are great highly recommended they've got a beautiful at least when i was purchasing it they had really good quality sportswear it's not the cheapest brand though but the quality of a sportswear is so great you can see it even on my instagram of the outfits and i love the brand for the sportswear most of the collection from them is not really my style but guys sportswear from Markane, 100 percent recommend it uh, love them love them look i wear them these to death and they still look new these are in my regular size 30 like okay half a size up 38 they don't have half a sizes i think from the sneakers so guys that was it from today's video i hope you enjoyed it if yes please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i would love you to join my youtube family thank you so much for watching have a lovely day uh, take care of yourself and see you in my next video ciao